Florida, it's 2023 in Frankfurt. We're gonna go around all these stalls, these lots and lots of stalls to choose from and see what's available. See where the future of heating is gonna take us. Let's go check it out. Okay, we've just got to um, the Wiesmann stand in the first hall that we're gonna see, uh, the first heating hall. And this is, the, just give you an idea of the scale, this is just the Wiesmann stand. There's this area here. If you look in the distance, it says Wiesmann. That's where the other half of the Wiesmann stand is. That's just one exhibitor. Couldn't remember him be so tall. It must be the good like food. The Christian Engelkel, Engunkel. Engelke. Engelke. Yeah. Um, the CTO, still CTO of Wiesman UK. Correct, um, yeah. I've known Christian for five, six, seven years or something longer, like that. Yeah. Maybe longer, much to his uh, dismay. <laughs> He's going to give us a little tour and see what's available uh, from Wiesman uh, this year. The biggest highlight here, today's show, and yeah. you are the expert, you may tell me whether yeah. it might be uh, something for you or not. Yeah. Um, we have got a new product there. It's mainly for the new build market. It's called okay. Invisible. Invisible? You know the, Invisible. You know the challenge with the housing market, new build houses, no space for putting heating yeah. in there, the struggle. It's yeah, yeah, yeah. all the time. Yeah. Where do I put this? Where do I put the storage yeah. tank? Where do I put this? Now, the guys have developed this Invisible solution. It's basically hidden um, in the walls. Oh, wow. Yeah. So you've got everything in there. Oh my God. Uh, over there, there's a, a see-through model there, but you can have different surface finishes, okay? Wow. And you've got hot water cylinders in there, you've got a heat pump in there, you've got a ventilation system in there, all integrated. So MVHR, heat pump, battery? No, not battery, don't no, go not that battery. far. Come on, it's you want silly. to do battery? You missed no. battery, how did you miss battery? It's a new bit, it's new bit. Yeah? I don't need yeah. it. It's new bit. I mean, you know, batteries, maybe batteries as well, we will see it over there, but it's, it's all over there. But wow. the, the idea is that the new build market, also in Germany, their space is premium, as you know. Yeah, yeah. And with heat pumps and buffer vessels and everything else, you need more space, which we don't have, even not in the UK. Amazing. And uh, so that's the... Brand new, it's it's uh, absolutely it's just been launched. Even even non-new builds, existing older properties, they've taken out the airing cupboards. There's nowhere left for cylinder that you can take in a garage wall or. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You could do this. Amazing. Yeah. And you have different surface finishes as well, so you can have it you know, white, or you can have it with wooden paneling or yeah, whatever, yeah. A, or a mirror. You can put it in the bedroom. You know. <laughs> Sexy. When, uh, you know, don't go in there. If, no, man, <laughs> maybe the wife. Look in that drawer. <laughs> and then this is going to be available in the UK. Well, we we no. I mean, we don't know yet. I mean, we may do. It depends on what the customers are, yeah, what yeah. they want to do. But you know, the new bit market in the UK, as you know, is quite challenging. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But maybe, maybe if you present that well, program, that yeah, they jumping this is onto good. this, that's, that's great. So it's it's uh, heating output is up to six kilowatts. Roundabout. Six kilowatts. Okay. Yeah. Right, let's go over there. And, and does this have an exter external heat pump as well? Outside heat pump? Yes. Oh, it's, okay. It's a split unit. Yeah, okay. It's a moment, but it will be upgraded later on with the R290 as okay. well for next year. And what, then, what is it now? Which refrigerant? Do you know? I see old for uh, 410. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. You can have it. You can have it as a corner solution. That's yeah, amazing. Really, so you can see that there. Inlet water, wa uh, water filter, and then so all yeah. the way from water inlet all the way through Absolute to complete uh, system. Everything. And you're just connecting it to your building services and to your water tubs. Well, that's the idea. Yeah. That's awesome. I knew Eastman so, would have something good on their stand. We're with uh, Klaus on the Nibby stand. Uh, he's going to show us some stuff about the uh, new ground source heat pump systems. Yep. Is that right? Yeah. yeah. What you see here is the latest generation of ground source. It is a speed regulated modulating up to 18 kilowatt, which is quite a lot. 
and we're achieving here a seasonal COP or performance which is going up to six in the end. So that is really setting the benchmark in the branch. And what can it modulate down to if we can go up to 18? Uh, the, the minimum is something like 1.5 wow. kilowatt for the low one, and then the big one maybe is four kilowatt in the limit, and then 18 at the top. Okay, okay. Perfect. So that really creates efficiency. 18 for the big 18. one. 18. So from four to 18, and from, for one size, and the other one is from 1.5 to eight. And can be fed with uh, brine or it can also PVT, use with a PV panel PVT, and uh, yeah. we are doing a lot of these installations in Germany meanwhile if you don't have place for the drilling or if yeah, you don't have sure. place for air water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's also interesting to mention that you can run the system with radiator systems. So if you have a 55 degree in your heating system, in your hydronic system, it still can run on, on a very good efficiency. And what gas, what gas are you using in these now? What that refrigeration is an gas? R45B version. Okay. So it's okay. already lower GVP. Yeah. It's not natural refrigerant yet, but it's quite close to a very low climate impact. Yeah. Okay. 55 degree radiators. Yes. Yes. You'll still get a minimum scop of four. Yes. Guaranteed. Yeah, of course, guarantee is a big word. Yeah, uh, but if, if, you, if, if you follow the norm calculation of a SCOP, That's amazing. then it's clearly above four. How? What? What's the change? It's, uh, I think it's the fifth generation of the same product becoming better and better. Also, the new refriger refrigerant is uh, quite good on, on high temperatures. Uh, and Niebe is uh, known for being the leader in ground source heat pumps uh, since ever. Yeah. Thanks, Klaus. That's great. Yeah, thank you. Good, good luck good. with that. Yeah, thank Cheers. You. <laughs> Cheers. I'm here with uh, Adrian from Intergas. Hello, Adrian. Um, he's going to tell us a bit more about the Extend hybrid. Correct. Yes. Yep. So, what have we got? In the inner unit, you'll find a heat exchanger, a pump, and a PCB. And when it's a split solution, at the moment that the heat pump can uh, supply enough uh, energy, the water will flow over this manifold to the uh, installation. At the moment that the heat pump needs to be supported by the boiler, the boiler starts to operate. And the, in the opposite side of the central heating water, we mix water from the boiler. First cup of tea. Something like that. Yeah. <laughs> and at the moment that the uh, heat pump doesn't have to work because it's too cold outside, you just run on the uh, boiler. What's the light for? Uh, it it uh, indicates some kind of operation mode. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. And we uh, combine it with our uh, Intergas Combi Compact uh, boilers, which have a very special heat exchanger. Uh, with one coil for central heating and one uh, coil for domestic hot water. Amazing. And we don't need the freeway valve to shift from domestic hot water to central heating, which makes it very reliable. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're, we're quite aware of the Intergas on our channel. We've got a lot of fans of Intergas Great. in there. Good and to they've hear. they've come over to you guys plenty of times. Oh, in, uh, you did. yeah, yeah. We're, we're, we're quite deep in the... Um, in the technical list. Yeah, yeah. Oh, great, 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 um, great. And great. then do you guys manufacture the heat pump in Holland or...? No, 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 no. no. We source it from uh, Asia. Oh, sorry, this one from uh, India. Okay. And this is the second generation of the outdoor unit, which looks very nice and yeah, it does, it's yeah. also better for, for, let's say, the noise level. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what refrigerant this uses? This is R32. R32, yeah. okay. Yeah. Cool. So it goes high temperature if needed. Yes. Okay, that's yeah. amazing. Yeah. 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 You like it? Right. What's, that? What's, what's, the, what's the maximum size? This is five kilowatts. Five and, kilowatts. And we are coming up with seven kilowatts as well. Amazing. I think that's it for this one. Yep. Thank you very much. Okay. You're welcome. We're now at Valence Stand. I'm joined by Sebastian. Uh, and we found something slightly interesting here, like a compact heat pump MVHR <laughs> unit. Yeah, act actually, it's, it's a compact heat pump, including ventilation and domestic hot water storage. So it's an all-in-one solution, an indoor air water heat pump with warm water storage and ventilation unit. That's really cool. And then is this to be installed internally or externally? Yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's in internally. Internal. Right. And you just have an exhaust either on the left-hand side or right-hand side, you need a, um, right. a space to the wall. And then you have an outlet yes. to the outer area and then you yeah. draw the air inside yes. this unit. And then it's, this is inside the house then. Yeah, okay, so this is a heat pump obviously. We pull in via the heat pump, uh, via the MVHR, then boost through the heat pump, right? Excellent, absolutely. Then here is the, the, the heat exchanger, basically. Ah. So the compressor and the ex uh, heat exchanger. Yeah. And then this is basically the, 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 the heart of the unit. Yes. And then this is uh, the, the uh, hot water hot storage. Water. 
for your for your water comfort. So um, this is air to air. Is yes. there an option to no, also... No, it's air to water. Oh, is that it's air, air, it's air to air water. To water. It's air to water. It's not ah, air to air. Okay. So it's not an air duct system. This is just the vent the, the, the ventilation oh. unit is for fresh air. Yes. But the, the, the so heating you... engine is air to water. Right, right. So it doesn't boost the air back into the house. It, that's just done via normal MVHR methods. Yes. It just delivers to radiators. Absolutely, yes, oh, yes. Then it usually, okay. usually this is a made for, uh, meant for new build. New build, yeah. So then it's for underfloor heating. Yes, And yes. then you... you exchange it to the yeah. to the water circuit amazing well that's really cool uh, dimensions we're looking like ah, so I don't have it in mind but it's um... I can tell you it's about 1 point <laughs> uh, 1.8 yeah 1.8 by 1.8 yeah. maybe yeah, like if you lay down, you can measure it as well. So if yeah. you want to, I'm two or one, one nine five. <laughs> I say it's two, but I'm not. <laughs> About seven hundred deep. Yeah, yeah, that's really cool. R two ninety. No, it's 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 32? it's fourteen A still. 14A. Okay. So um, yeah. Plans to move to R two ninety, or is that the new? Yeah, absolutely. So needs to be future proof. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool. Yeah, it's it's actually and it's it's a heat pump. It's a heat pump. It's a heat pump. It's a domestic hot water heat pump. Yep. Um, Indoor as well. Okay. Then you have the heat pump and the storage. So how yeah. does it take so it, the? It, this is this is built into the heating circuit. Yes. So you you use the heating circuit, uh, which runs around the the house. Yeah. With, well, the water you use yeah. for your underfloor heating or yeah. your radiators, and then you build it inside, and then it turns the temperature out of the the heating circuit, and then uh, combined with this uh, with the heat pump, it it uh, warms up your water. Yeah. So okay, let's assume we had a scop of three on our uh, on our heating hot our water, and this might add. Do you get a scop of six? <laughs> like, because you're yeah. So so it, it it depends on the system, but this system it serves as a, as a cop of five. Right. So yeah, but um, uh, and it, it, it adds. It, it adds. It adds to the overall. Um, wow, soft. that's yeah. really innovative. And then, um, so uh, how how big is this store? How many liters? So this is, I think, it's uh, 150 liters. 70 but max. So uh, I, I think this is the 200 one, but I'm I'm not quite sure. I, I think it's, uh, I think it is the uh, 200. Uh, up to 270. So it's, yeah, we, have, we have a 270, uh, 200, and for for individual flats, um, uh, we have a 150 wall hung solution. Wow, that is. So you see here, this is basically very, you see yeah, here yeah. the versions. Point. So you see here, these these are the three sizes. And then here, um, R290. So I can see yes. flexi connection. So you yes. just take this into your flow and return for yes, the house. Yes, yes. We have to make sure that there's a constant flow. Sure. So, yeah, but yeah. the efficiency doesn't drop. But you have to make sure that there's a constant flow. You'd just the pump is on. With, yes. You'd only be feeding this with 20 degrees, say, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it would be yeah, cooling your house in the summer if it's too warm outside, And right? then, of course, yeah, it, it helps you if you, if you have an underfall heating. It, it's, it's natural cooling because it takes, it takes the, the, the temperature out of the floor. This is incredible! <laughs> it's amazing! Yeah. We did it! We caused solved climate change! <laughs> if Valent UK are watching this, you need to bring this one over, please. Quick correction on this, um, the scops don't multiply or add up. Although it might be a five to one uh, efficiency, that's a five to one electrical usage to heat. The heat is taken from the heating system, which will probably be an air source, which has already been generated by an air source. So uh, it doesn't add scop, uh, it only works as a five to one unit, but it's still a really crazy cool thing um, that I can see loads of applications for. First name, please. My name is Christian. I'm from Berlin. I'm on Instagram at Installateur. You can follow me and look what we in German making a plumbing crazy stuff. <laughs> and then what sort of like content do you make? Like, what's your thing? My content is I bundling completely uh, uh, craftsmen in Germany. Uh, Austria and Switzerland wow. and uh, we show look here on, on this TV we make one year in events that's completely craftsman and uh, coming together have a good time oh, wow. and, and speaking and networking and uh, yeah. make a big things this is Lust of Handwerk it's a it's a it's a project I started for five years and uh, it's growing 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 it's it's amazing I haven't heard about it before I don't know how but how do we find out more about it is there a website or do we, can we follow is it, is, or is that connected to your main? Yeah. That's oh, connected to the main thing. And then, so the networking is all from different trades, people coming yeah. together. Completely. No. And there's beer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Lots of, of handwerk, you can come in, 
check this out and uh, when you uh, would like oh my god my english it's not the yellow from the egg you know <laughs> <laughs> so sorry it's fine we are connected that's that's cool yeah, and we stay thing. in contact i i love it and thank you gave you. me freebies yeah you got my hat i've got a t-shirt for you in there as well yeah very nice to meet you thank you have a good time yeah, here in you. frankfurt and uh, we'll see you subscribe and <laughs> thank you bye guys i'm here with uh, marcel Hi. marcel from s HK. I've been following these guys for probably about a year and a half, uh, two years. They produce amazing YouTube content uh, on heating and plumbing. You have to use Google Translate uh, or get the translator app if you want to um, understand what's being said, but the content is amazing. Very nice to meet you. Can you just tell us a little bit more about what you make and like what, what you teach on your channel? Yes, everything about SHK, also uh, HVAC, it's in, in, in the UK. And we have the biggest YouTube channel in Germany with 60,000 followers and a half million views per month. And we tell everything about heat pumps, about um, sanitary cl climatization. Uh, yeah, that's our uh, themes. And uh, yeah, thank you for visiting us on our creative yeah. space and greetings from Germany. Nice to meet you and nice meet a, a wonderful you. time here on ISH on Frankfurt. Okay, that's it for ISH 2023 from Frankfurt. We've had an amazing time, seen some great new tech and uh, done lots of steps. We got sore feet, sore heads. Heads, lots of uh, beer. And it's been, yeah, it's been great. If you can come over here, you really should come. Uh, I would say that there's only one main hall. Uh, today was 12.1, which is heating uh, innovation. The rest are more pipe and fittings. Has been interesting though. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe. And if you found anything specifically interesting, don't forget to comment in the comment section below and we will see you on the next one. <laughs>